About three years ago, GMC introduced the completely redesigned Sierra. It was one of my favorites for its attractive styling. However, for 2022, GMC is introducing a completely revised Sierra. I'm here at the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. Let's take a first look. Now, one of the biggest changes that GMC made was to the interior. It really needed it. But before we go inside the truck, I'm going to show you guys some of the small changes that the company made to the exterior. This particular one that I'm showing you is a new trim level. It's called the GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. So this sits at the very top of the trim hierarchy. And you can really tell this truck means business on the outside. I especially like this kind of color combination with the new front fascia. You can see the new grill is a little bit larger this year. It has a little bit more chrome, although the chrome is kind of blacked out, which I really like. Uh, and it's kind of going with that trend of blacking out stuff. You can see the GMC logo is also blacked out as opposed to it being red. And you can see the headlights, if you squint at them, they are slightly different this year. You can see this uh, Denali Ultimate has an LED turning or uh, turn signal, LED daytime running lights. Uh, you have LED low and high beams and then LED fog lights down here at the lower front fascia. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the styling of this new truck. Really, you need to put the old one side by side with the new one to see all of the changes. Now, underneath the hood, you still have a choice of, I believe, four different powertrains. However, GMC made a couple of key updates to some of the powertrains. The 2.7 liter four cylinder turbo engine now makes 20% more torque this year. It has the same horsepower, but now it makes 420 pound feet of torque. The diesel engine, which is an inline six turbo diesel, now has the same power. Uh, but it'll tow 4,000 pounds more. So it'll tow a maximum of 13,300 pounds. This model here, I believe, tows around 9,000 pounds. This one here also comes standard with the 6.2 liter V8, naturally aspirated V8. It makes about 420 horsepower. Now looking at the side profile, you can see uh, the truck still obviously is available in several different configurations. This is the one that most people buy. It's the crew cab with the shorter five and a half foot bed. Uh, the Denali Ultimate version also has this badge here on the side that says 6.2 ultimate to show people that you have the most powerful engine and the most uh, highest trim level. And then the wheels, check out these wheels, guys. These are a 22 inch wheel wrapped in a 275 50 width tire. You can see with the Denali Ultimate, you have these unique black finished wheels. It looks good, especially with this dark gray exterior uh, and along the cladding here you can see is pretty minimal but the truck itself if you guys want to go for the new AT4X trim this one here obviously is more of a street oriented truck the AT4X version which GMC doesn't have here to show you uh, is actually kind of based off of the new Silverado ZR2 it adds those uh, multimatic shocks which they technically pulled from the Silverado or from the Colorado ZR2, uh, but that's a different review. That's the most off-road capable version of the truck. This is again, the more street oriented model. Now looking at the back, you can see, this is where I struggled to find really any changes. It didn't really need to, any changes. The Sierra has always been my favorite looking truck out of all of the half ton competitors. You can see the LED, the LED tail lights mimic the C shape here with the LED daytime running or LED turn signal right here. Uh, and then you can see the rear bumper. Uh, this has the um, multi-pro tailgate design where you can open up this tailgate in several different ways, but most of you are just gonna use it normally. You can see this one already has the spray and bed liner. You can also pop up this like partition over here, uh, which lets you uh, create like a little small bed extender uh, where it only has like a half extender. But overall, um, the rear styling looks pretty similar, but let me show you guys the interior because that's really where the big story is for 2022. So outside, this truck already looked good. So GMC didn't need to make too many changes. However, the inside is really where Chevy and GMC were struggling against new competitors. The old interior was just so old looking. It had cheap materials. It had really small displays. It really wasn't befitting of the Denali badge. Now, as you can see in this Denali Ultimate, this interior has a certain wow factor. I mean, the thing that you're going to notice the most are the new displays. You have a 13.4 inch display here, which obviously it's a touchscreen. It has a piano black plastic border around it uh, with an actual volume knob, a home button here. And then you have a 12.3 inch fully digital display here, which if you guys remember the pre-refresh model, the interior just looked like it came out of a truck from 10 years ago. And then GMC also offers a 15 inch heads up display as well, along with a rear view camera mirror. So there's a total of 40 inches of screen real estate in this truck. 40 inches obviously is when you add all the screens together, but this finally competes head on. Uh, it can go toe to toe, of course, with the new Tundra's interior, which has a 14 inch display, the new Ram's interior, the new F-150's interior. And I think GMC did a fantastic job. There are a couple of key details here in the Denali Ultimate trim that I want to talk about. You can see the dash has this beautiful kind of stitched leather material with the genuine stitching here. 
You have genuine uh, aluminum trim, real wood. This wood actually comes from Indonesia. It even has Mount Denali kind of engraved in the actual wood, which looks fantastic. It also has this really nice low gloss look. You have more real leather stitching over here, along with that aluminum trim. It kind of all flows onto the actual door panel here, where there's only one area where there's a hard touch plastic over here, but you're not gonna be touching that. So over here, you can see more leather, more of that Indonesian wood over here. With I love with I love about the door panels are these um, stitching here that you find on the door armrest pads. They just have a nice high quality feel. It really could belong in a Cadillac. This interior is that nice. Now in terms of the steering wheel, you can see it's a power tilt and telescoping design. The steering wheel actually looks like it hasn't really changed from the pre-refresh model. It didn't really need to, but there are now paddle shifters on the wheel. You can see this is for the Super Cruise because this vehicle is available with Super Cruise standard on the Denali Ultimate, optional on other trims. This is the hands-free highway driving that I tested out in several Cadillac models. So I'll be looking forward to driving this truck later this year. And then over here on the center display, it has things like wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, of course. It offers a full 360 camera. The graphics just look phenomenal. This looks a lot better uh, versus the previous generation. Let's pull up the cameras here and see what that looks like. You can see several different views. Uh, it'll show you exactly where the tires are so you don't curb the vehicle. It'll show you a front camera. It has several different tow views and whatnot. Um, so this is all very modern and this is exactly what I expect from a vehicle with this kind of price. You can see the navigation display is Google, uh, which is cool, although we are in an auto show environment, so I'm not entirely sure this is going to work properly. But this should include things like over the air updates and it has a really bright and crystal clear screen. So I really like what GMC has done here. I'm looking forward to testing this out a little bit more thoroughly. Now you can see opening that up, there is a secondary glove box there in addition to the main glove box here. So it offers a lot of storage space, which is nice. The um, controls over here, you can see you have your heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. I like how there are hard buttons here for the dual zone climate control. There's your lane departures stuff. You can actually open and slide the rear window back there by using this little button over here, which is pretty nice. The shifter you can see is electronic. It controls the uh, 10 speed automatic, uh, but it also depends on which engine you get. You can see there's a lot more storage over here, wireless phone charging pad. Then you can see in the center console here, you can see Mount Denali is still kind of or embossed into that, which you can also see echoed on the seats. You can see there's a, a Denali Ultimate badge here with more of that embossed uh, Mount Denali into the actual seat with this kind of contrasting piping and stitching. These seats also feel very comfortable and supportive. So I like the fact that this now has a luxury interior to go with the luxury price tag. Now, the one thing I, I do want to criticize above me, um, I do love how you have this kind of micro suede with LED interior accents, but if you're looking for a Pano roof, GMC still doesn't do that for some reason. Now you can get that on a lot of competitors, including the new Tundra, uh, but sadly uh, it's not here. So hopefully they'll add that uh, when, whenever customers continue to ask GMC to do that feature. Now hopping into the back seat of the new GMC Sierra, first of all, when you open the door, the power deploying running boards pop out to help shorter people like myself get into the truck. But once you open the door and get back here, GMC said they actually added a couple inches more legroom back here, which really, just made this an already big truck even more spacious. Now at five foot seven, I'm not very tall, but I can easily get comfortable back here, which is nice. The floor is basically completely flat, which is great um, for sitting three people across. You have heated back seats back here. You have rear seat uh, vents. You have two USB charging ports. This also flips up, of course, to reveal some storage under there if you guys want to hide stuff under, underneath the actual seat back, which is nice. And Pushing back, that back down, you can see it's so wide in this truck, you can easily fit three people across. There are, or there's an armrest here that folds down, gives you two cup holders. You still have, of course, that Mount Denali embossed into the actual seat, which really gives it a nice, you know, upscale look. It's, I love the fact that GMC is kind of sweating the details. And then because there is no panel roof, I'm noticing there's a huge bump up here. So for those of you who are taller, this is gonna give you that extra bit of headroom. There's also that power sliding rear window that I mentioned earlier from the front seat. So the back seat is pretty much on par with a lot of the competitors. The only thing I'm noticing it's missing, no power retractable or manual shades here which I'm surprised they don't have, but you can see lots of high quality materials from the full leather, the real wood that you find in the back seat. So GMC really didn't skimp back here. My only criticism is just a panel roof. They need to seriously consider offering that feature. But regardless, you guys are probably wanting to know the price of this vehicle. Uh, GMC already announced that the truck starts at like $33,000 for the base version. It's gonna go all the way up to about 81 grand for this one that I'm sitting here. $81,000 is definitely expensive, but I'd argue that it's about the same price as something like the new Tundra Capstone, uh, the F-150 Limited, and if you go for the Laramie Longhorn of the Ram 1500, these are just getting expensive vehicles, but with all the tech, all the space, all the luxury, you kind of have to pay for all that stuff. And if you really want the ultimate version, 
it certainly looks like it may be worthy of the Denali Ultimate name. If you're looking to purchase this truck, they are heading to your local GMC dealers later on this spring. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, pricing has already been announced. For Redline Reviews here at the 2022 Chicago Auto Show, I'm Sophie Onbeg.